All right. Questions for Jason? <laughs> Abby Chin. Hi, Jason. Uh, scratching your head, how's the new dew on the court? And with all the humidity happening? I'm good, Abby. It's cool. Uh, I'm used to it. I like it. <laughs> Brandon, I have more. Are we good? Yeah. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay, sorry. Thought Brandon cut me off. Uh, Brad said you guys are looking to scrimmage tonight. What kind of things can you take out of that? And where do you think you guys are as far as conditioning and where you thought you might be at this point? Yeah, I think um, scrimmaging will help with our conditioning today, just getting up and down and um, just playing as hard as you can, really competing on defense um, to really kind of gauge where you are from a conditioning standpoint. Um, you know, we've had a tough couple of practice where we were getting after it. Um, you know, Brad's done a good job of managing, managing it. So um, we'll see, see you tonight after uh, we get up and down. Jared Weiss. Hey, Brad was just talking about rebuilding up a lot of the offensive habits that made you guys successful during the year. Um, I was wondering, have, have you or any of the players had conversations with the coaching staff about what you felt was going well and what you felt wasn't going well when the season picked up so that you could kind of prioritize what you work on? Yeah, we have a, we have a lot of conversations. We watch a lot of film. Um, and sometimes it's just erratic, you know, when we're out there during practice, um, especially a lot of the older guys, you know, what's their opinion? Um, things out to the coaches, uh, what they see since, you know, obviously the coaches come up with game plans, but we're the ones on the floor. So uh, it's kind of having that trust between each other to uh, be able to talk and listen. John Corrales. Hey, Jason, uh, you were on obviously real hot streak closing out the season uh, or the before the hiatus. How close do you feel uh, after a couple of weeks here, workouts and scrimmages, how close do you feel uh, you are to where you were before? Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't played a game. You know, I think how I look when I shoot by myself or in practice um, is totally different than actually being um, playing a game, playing against a different another team. Real good. Um, I feel like my rhythm is coming back each and every day. Um, I think it would be hard for me to say or give a percentage of how close I think I was to towards the second half of the season. So uh, I'm really just excited. You know, I'm enjoying being in practice, seeing the guys playing with them. This is the most I've enjoyed practice you know, since I've been in the NBA. Just happy to be back playing basketball. Keith Smith. Hey, Jason, is it if like now that you're a weekend back at it, are you really to the point where you're ready to, to really go at some guys and just play the game again? Is it kind of have that training camp feel somewhat? Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm ready to play. Obviously, I know it probably won't look perfect, you know, when we first start playing. And that's not the goal. The goal is, you know, the whenever the playoffs start, you know, that's when you really want to hit your stride. Um, obviously, we don't have as much time as we do in a regular season, but um, you know, I'm, I'm sure you know, it's not going to look perfect when we first go out there. And the scrimmages are the first, um, I guess, seeding games. But once it gets to playoff time, that's when you really want to start clicking individually and as a group. All right. Final question for Jason Sherrod. Hey, Jason, how's it going? Uh, I wanted to ask you real quick about just the, the, the way that you were playing after the All-Star break. It was a clear and undeniable edge about your game. And I'm just curious, what's the challenge to kind of getting back, not just from a, in terms of execution standpoint, but just that mindset that you seem to be in after the All-Star break? What's the key to getting back to playing with that kind of edge, having that kind of mindset game in, game out? Um, you know, just challenging myself, uh, always setting new goals. Um, you know, setting the standard extremely high, you know, not caring about 
what other people think of me or whether it's, it's really good or you know whether they think you know it was a fluke or um, it was just a short um, time span you know that doesn't really bother me I know what I'm capable of what I think I'm capable of and you know what I'm striving for so um, I think you know that's the edge that I you know have for myself is just you know I step on the floor and I think I'm the best player every night and um, you know, I think you know, with that confidence you know I know a lot of guys probably feel that way so um, you know but I think that's the mindset you know I take and just knowing that I, I, I can do it um, you know, just keep pushing and knowing I have a long way to go but you know I just want to continue to get better and every night every week and every game every year um, you know just never get complacent all right thank you Jason